Hey everyone, there is exciting news in the fight against HIV. Scientists have made a significant breakthrough using a revolutionary gene editing tool called CRISPR-Cas9. This new research shows promise in eliminating HIV from infected cells in a lab setting. CRISPR-Cas9 acts like molecular scissors, precisely targeting and cutting out the viral DNA. While this is a major development, it is important to understand it is still in its early days. The biggest hurdle lies in completely eradicating the hidden reservoir of HIV within the body. These infected cells can remain dormant for long periods, making them difficult to target. Researchers are still determining how many cells need elimination for a complete cure. Dr. Jonathan Stoye, a virus expert, emphasizes the need for further research. He highlights the ongoing studies in animals that show promising results in reducing the viral reservoir. However, the critical question remains, is complete elimination necessary or can a significant reduction achieve a cure? This breakthrough with CRISPR-Cas9 offers a glimmer of hope for a future HIV cure. While more research is needed to ensure safety and effectiveness, it is a significant step forward in the fight against the virus. Well, I think before I do that, I have to give you a little bit of background about HIV and the disease it causes. So when HIV uh, infects a cell, it kills it, usually, and this can result in AIDS and people will die. However, we have worked out ways to treat the virus and stop it growing. And if you take your HIV medication, you don't succumb to AIDS. However, this is, there is a problem here because we can't get rid of all the virus. Some of it will infect cells, go to sleep and persist for a long, long time but occasionally reactivate. And if we are not taking medication, we're back to square one again. So for a number of years, scientists have been trying to find ways to get rid of the HIV from our cells. And this CRISPR-Cas9 technology, which we've heard about, is the current best chance of doing this. It consists of a way of, of delivering an enzyme into a cell that will cut specifically the virus and it has this enzyme plus guides that will target it to give it this specificity. The experiments we've heard about are in cells. Um, they're not in, in, in humans or, or primates, but there is every hope that this kind of technology will be useful in the future in order to try and get rid of, uh, of HIV from this latent reservoir. Well, there's a lot of, there are a lot of problems. You have to remember, we don't know very much about this viral reservoir. There are probably at least 10 to the 9 cells, a billion cells that carry these proviruses. And we don't know how many of those we have to eliminate in order to cure people from AIDS. And so this work is ongoing. Now, some studies have been carried out in animals, um, and there have been reports of 70 or 80 or 90 percent elimination of the reservoir but we don't know whether that's enough and this is something that will be important to discover in the future it, it's a real problem if only suppose only one percent of this reservoir survives will that reactivate and cause aids again we'll keep you updated on further developments in this exciting area stay tuned